Hello and welcome back to Norland. So when we last left off, we had just sent Svetimir over to recolonize Treewood, and he has actually succeeded in that. Um, as well as we were attacking Frostkeep and sending a de defense over to Goldshire. So <clears throat> another thing I've noticed is that this city, I forgot what this one was called now, but this is also abandoned now. Unfortunately, we don't have anything that we can, or anyone we can send over to uh, occupy it, but that's alright because now we have a brand new king, Svetimir, and he has definitely earned it if you ask me. We have a good relationship with him. Wow, sells and buys, hold that has to be a bug, look at that. Hold on. Selling zero holy rings for 45 gold. It'll actually let us do it. Well, that is actually wild. We can sell him, or yeah, sell him zero rings for 110. What? <laughs> I kind of wanted to see. I wouldn't mind if it ends up selling us beer. That would be fine. We're just going to see what happens if we do that. I feel like that's uh, a little bit broken. But okay, so. Other than that, we do need a new free lord. Is this guy any good? He's got a 9 in management. He could actually take over quite well. First Vedimir. Okay. Uh, hire him for sure. We need a 25 relation with him to give him a title. He has apparently no feeling about Canute at all, it seems. Alright, so we'll just hire him. We have plenty of rings. I don't even think we need to be buying any more rings at this point. And we'll send Fiona. And uh, also, I did a few extra little things. Uh, I basically just put a new hop field, a new rye field, and a new rutabaga field up here in that one area to the top left that I was talking about last week. And, um, let's see. What do we even really... I don't even know if we really need anything. If anything, we might... Well, probably just paper. Buy a little bit of paper. And other than that, I think we are pretty well and good at this point. I mean, maybe the peasant's house, I feel like... I just feel like that's going to make the city way too big, though. Healthy unemployed three, so there are four in total, it looks like, are unemployed. So we need more jobs for people. We'll trade that. Maybe we'll try to just take some of his money. We have way too many daggers at this point. We'll sell like 10 of those. And we'll also... Hmm... Maybe sell a little bit of flour. Tiny bit of beer. Just get a little bit of his gold. Might as well stock up a little bit of it. Um... And now... We'll put... Fiona on this. We'll put her on this. This. We'll basically put her on all the stuff that Svetimir was previously doing for us. Fiona's on that already. Okay, so she's on she's gonna be on all of this. Might have to have the Chancellery go on to this now. Or okay, we're gonna pause while we figure this out, so... We need Axel. We're probably gonna put Axel on... Two, four, six... Six different things? That seems... Seems like something he can handle. I don't think he can handle... What would that be, like 11 different things? Yeah. So we'll go ahead and put these to the Chancellery. And 
at the same time, I didn't even realize that we don't have the final upgrade on the lumber mill yet. Yeah. This one's level 4 though, so we must have had it at some point. I totally forgot to level these up to level 5. That's probably why we're kind of running low on wood now. I mean, not low low, but... Our reserves could be a little bit better. But that's okay. Okay, so is there anything else we can upgrade before? How many tools do we have? 23? Okay, we can do that. Upgrade both of these. I'll get them both to level 3. We can also upgrade the workshop. And we're, yeah, we're just pretty much... We don't have enough for that. Um, 20, hold on. Okay, so only 10 we're using at the moment. So we'll upgrade that too, because we basically just want to try to make sure nobody's unemployed. Or at least not too many people. There are four homeless. Put another dormitory down. And are our warriors? We have 19. We will have enough room for 30 in total. I may even just start building another one. We don't have the iron for it yet, though. That was one thing I did forget to buy. He's leaving. Okay. Upgrade the brewery. Anything else I didn't, I didn't check? I think that's everything. Okay. We're gonna go to this battle now. And Knut should have no problem dealing with this. He has a substantial army. The real question is, do we want to try to go after Tornet first? Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Alright, get in there, Knut. He's not going to listen about staying in the back. He never does. He's too brave. Get her. Wow, these are terrible shots. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Hit her. Shooter, come on. Oh my god. They're shooting everywhere but but the target. Are you are you are you joking me? Okay. Um Why don't you move like a little bit forward? Okay, I guess they finally hit her. Nice. She's dead. And Canute is actually staying in the back for once. Alright. Killed Fella and Tornet in the same battle. It's over. Five dead, five captured. And there is another vassal. And that has pretty much destroyed this little alliance here. They have absolutely no chance against us now. They didn't really have a chance before, but I think we can start moving on to this Crystalia alliance because they've got like 15 people. That could get dangerous if we let it go too much farther. Alright, once once Canoe gets back, we'll take care of that, that camp. We'll probably start dealing with a bunch of camps. Axel's hired, so let's go ahead and put him on all this stuff. So it looks like that trade that we did before, it did actually. D despite showing that it was going to try to sell us rings, it actually does sell us beer. So that was just an interesting little visual bug. I'm fine with it. I'll take some 
extra free beer. On that note, is our price too low? Yes. Or well, it would be if we lowered it anymore. We could probably allow even the prisoners to have meat at this point, but I don't think we're going to do that. Wow, the meat prices are kind of insane. Maybe we should actually increase the wages a little bit. One each. I know I've heard a lot of people say that you shouldn't do this, but... We're so late in the game at this point, I don't really see what it could possibly hurt at this point. Bastard of a prisoner and a harlot. Today in front of all I boldly declare that we should not become your vassal. I fear not death, be it this world or the next. Blah blah blah. So... Which guy was that? Enchantment? Okay. More marauders. Ooh. Alright, some stuff is happening. Protection against a rebellion. Why does it not want me to... Hmm, Amrower is trying to raise a rebellion. Alright, well, we cannot have that. No. Wait, hold on, what? Create a new squad. We will have Haviland deal with this one. And we'll send... Hmm. Any way to know? It just says 50% support among warriors. So that'd be like six. So Haviland. We'll just send about six then. And we'll send heavy armor, mostly. And then, gosh, um, that seems pretty good. Send army. Now what happened here? Didn't we send our army here? Blank demands that Hosier Matt to break the vassal treaty? Um that doesn't seem right, right? I sent so we'll hold on. What happened to our other guy that... Was this him? The other guy that... Haviland? I thought we had one other mercenary. I'm like 90% sure. Another mercenary that could, uh... Command for us, but... Hmm. Okay, well... I'm not sure if he just, like, disappeared. Or... Is he coming back? Am I blind and he's coming back? Okay, this is him. Right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. I guess I didn't realize that it had, uh, already finished. Okay. Well, never mind, then. Doing well there, then. Canoe just made it home, so we're gonna have to send him at this bandit camp. He should be able to take care of this in time. Hmm. Okay. Fifty percent. I don't think it'll be a problem at all, but... Oh. Free him, free him, free- wow. Okay. These guys are all really powerful. That's a pretty powerful army that we have again. I 
am thinking just him probably okay let's see here before we send him out we're gonna go ahead and rebuild his army Canute we'll send that many instead. Yeah, six should be pretty good. And they can all just be typical warriors. Okay, now go and attack this bandit camp. I don't know why it's saying it's even lower of a chance now. I don't think it's going to be an issue. So one thing I hadn't really considered was uh, the knowledge that we might have lost. And actually being able to get heavy armor in the forge will be pretty nice. But it does look like it does look like some things we may end up having to re Well, maybe not. We may have to re Yeah, like May Stun. We have to relearn this now. Cause we lost uh Svetimir. So that's probably gonna be the main thing that actually starts to hurt us. Um, is, yeah, just the knowledge that we ended up losing. But, you know, that is part of why I did that. I didn't want to completely just keep snowballing all over the place and not having really any challenges to go through, so that's going to be one of the, the challenges that we have now. And now, this is actually a little bit better of an army. I don't know if... In, I thought Enchantment only had like five soldiers when I last... When I had decided to do this. Create a squad. Ploran. Mm, I don't think we can attack them yet. I don't want to leave us undefended from these marauders. So now it says that the Chancellery's paper is out of stock. Lacking paper. I don't know why, because we have paper. Um, Fiona's contract is also expiring. I kind of forgot to increase relationship with her. Ah, Knut does have a pretty good relationship with her, but not good enough. Oh, what? Sparkfall left the kingdom. What? Yeah, see that just... I'm pretty... I don't know, maybe there was something going on there that I just didn't see, but... We're gonna just immediately force their vassalage again. I guess we'll buy a little more paper. Maybe, like... I don't know. I don't know why the paper is not being used in the Chancellery. It's a little confusing. Probably pick up a little iron as well. We'll sell a little more flour. And... Can't really do much else. I almost want to pick up one of these books. I think the one that we mainly need is Maka and Varn. Do we have a Varn one? Varn language. I think those could be pretty useful because it'll teach. I can teach Emma that language when she has a when she has lumber mill upgrade complete. And otherwise, Tanea. Uh, Okay, so we sent 400, it looks like. Um, is there a way I can recoup a little bit? Send a little bit of bows. We have, like, actually quite a bit of bows. Send a bunch of those away. I don't really want to use up my rye or my hops. I guess I could send a couple of these. Get some good money back. 
And now... Now we just need to wait a little bit longer. Now I'm actually just thinking... And actually... We kind of need to try to find a spouse at some point for both Harold and Gunhilda. It looks like Misthaven has a bride. She's 18. Her stats are not very good. But this will give us a better relation with Misthaven. Now, why can't I pick Canute, uh, Harold here? Is he married? And I just don't realize it? Is he... Maybe it's because he had sex with a peasant. He has few rings. I have no idea. Hmm. Maybe Kristenin is good for Gunhilda. Yeah, he actually does not look terrible. Now, I don't know. I assume that we would be sending... Okay, so he doesn't even like us enough. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, fair enough. And our attack is ready. Alright. Not gonna really do anything else besides just speed through this one. one of their bandits and Knut will come on home now there was uh, Goldshire is requesting assistance we'll send Ploran to deal with it uh, it's the same one from earlier I don't understand that I guess it's just stuck like that okay so our squads have returned back home and I think it's time to send an army to attack enchantment We'll keep Canute around. Havilin doesn't look too good. He's got a broken bone or something. So we will send... Probably... Honestly, about 14, I think, will be pretty good. And we'll send mostly... We'll send, like, three bowmen, I think. Yeah, that looks good. Let's say in 70%. Should be no issues whatsoever. And at the same time, uh, head of the pig farm known as Brightvale. To have a neighbor like you is a great honor. You have given me the most generous gift, and rest assured it will not go unappreciated. That's he head of the pig farm does not actually, to me, sound like a compliment. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I guess maybe in these times it actually is. But anyways, Godric has accepted your offering and improved their relation with you by plus 13 so we are happy about that and Godric he's lay cold right? that was pretty good for us uh, Axe started hating Canute we don't actually want that so I was gonna go and attack that bandit camp but I think before anything we want to reward him do that Canute and then we will go and flesh wolf hunt together. Well, it's what? Agnostic. Loyalist's result. Trade agreement. No longer bound by mutual obligations. Compelled to acquiesce to your demand. Okay, cool. Vesna became our vassal. And that is Sparkfall. Uh, 
Uh, Ozier Matt did not wait for your assistance, so that... So now, they're still considered our vassals, so I guess this just finally went away. That was some kind of bug or something. The free Lord is also being... Oh, okay, that's Feona. I still can't grant her a title, unfortunately. I would actually really like to get Axel to like Canute better. But it's not working out so great right now. We would just spend more time together. A new prophecy. Sir, I saw a red glow at sunset. It's the color of blood. I threw the bones and they told me that those who are aware or afraid of their death will seek others at your home. In three to five days, the church's seers expect the following disaster. Long civil wars will lead to the emergence of a long, large band of deserters who will see your province as an excellent place to live. On the world map near your city, a particularly large camp of bandits consisting of 25 to 35 experienced fighters will appear. Whoa. That's interesting. Okay, so we actually need to bolster our army even a little bit more than we have right now. Um, but by how much? In total, we have 23. I mean, we probably at least want to try to match their numbers, right? We have quite a bit of experienced warriors. Maybe we should uh, take a few. Are any of these guys unemployed? No, there's actually some that need. All right, there's actually some open jobs that don't have workers. Um, I don't want to spend too much money on bolstering, but I think we are going to have to basically buy up all the mercenaries. And then... None of these peasants are really good. Maybe just... It's a bit risky for the work and everything, but I think we're doing okay on production of everything, so I'm just gonna... That gives us... Okay, so taking a bunch of those prisoners gives us almost 30 warriors. And we should probably put up the training ground up to a max of 15 combat level now. We're gonna re reward Feona as well. Hopefully this improves the relation with Kanoon enough. Yes, it seems to have done that, and we can grant her a title now. Now that costs 300, but I think it's worth it. We'll also send Feona to trade. We're probably going to need a few things here. Including some extra maces. I don't really have a whole lot of maces. I think I need probably close to 10 or so. Go to trade, please. New battle. Alright, we'll take care of this. This should be no real problem for us. Who do we want to take out first? It doesn't really matter too much, but... Go Lindy. Probably go after them first. Oh, nice shots. Very nice. So, those archers could be hurting us. Hopefully we can take out the king real quick. Lindy passed away. Yeah, that, that definitely hurts you guys, doesn't it? Felina passed away as well. And pretty much just cleaning up now. It's actually a nice banner. I won't lie. It's not going to be enough to save you, though. Nope. Alright, we achieved our goals. Because we... We were just after, uh, I believe it was nine vassals. If I remember right. One dead, two escaped of ours. 
amount of tribute will be 112. So real quick, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I guess it counts 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay, so I think it was 8 total cities and that means that it actually includes our main city. Okay, that's good to know for the ambition. We need a barracks, we do not have enough, okay. I think we actually started to build one, didn't we, at some point? No, okay, maybe not. Okay, so we need another one. Ah, uh, you can't rotate them. Um, we'll move the prison ward then. Buy even more rings. We have been making good use of them. More maces. We need a relation of 50 with the matriarch. We may want to start pushing that up so we can get swords. Or axes, preferably axes. Four times more effective than a sphere, spear. Um, two times weaker than the sword. But with that knowledge, it should actually be more, more useful than a sword, I would think. Since less, uh, less skilled people can make good use of the axes. Um, there doesn't really appear to be any knowledge here that I care too much about. We may buy a couple of prisoners, though. Yeah. We'll sell, as usual, a little bit of our flour. Maybe may be able to afford to send off just a little bit of hops here as well. Save us some money. Man, we are actually getting a little bit tough times on cash at the moment, but... Should be okay. Should be okay. Alright, we need to get Hartha Canute and Fiona on something. Mainly what I want... is the wearing armor and maybe plight trade but I don't think that's really that good for us mace stun and wearing armor are like our main things we can put Feona on wearing armor but we can't put anybody on mace stun because they don't know they don't know the maka language so we'll have Hartha Knut learn that and otherwise, we want to try to improve our relations still with Axel. But Knut just hates him so much. I mean, uh, he hates Knut so much, rather. And there just doesn't seem to be anything I can really do about it. It's because of the Varn. That's why. Maybe we'll just try to replace him with somebody else. When we have the chance. Okay. So we do still have this band of marauders moving towards us. Should be here relatively soon. Um, who do we want... We want to accept this? Probably not. I don't really need a loan. I don't want to worry about paying it back at the moment. Um, the next forced vassalization we may do is probably Great Miss. They have a pretty decent army. I was thinking about trying to break up Crystallia, but they don't look very strong at the moment. So we'll probably go for Great Mist next. I think... yeah. Yeah, that, that seems like the best option for us at the moment, so we'll send... Command Vassal there. What's this now? Marauders have sent their army, okay. So we want... Do we have all of our 
people in the city right now. We're still waiting for one of our squads. They're right here. Pellerin, is he going to make it back in time? I hope so. Seems like he probably will. I almost want to send a small little army just to take out these bandits in the meantime, but... Okay, so four hours. Okay, this one looks like it'll make it back just in time. So what we're going to do, we're going to actually make three different squads. Wait. Yeah. We'll do about 15 in this one. Yeah. Um... Oh, these guys aren't going to make it in time, so actually, we need... We'll just do two different squads then. Like that. Squad returned, so we'll quickly rebuild that squad. Pellerin's been doing a pretty good job, we'll just stick with them on this other. And we'll put Haviland in it as well. Oh, they have enough armor already. Alright. Reinforcements have assembled. Hostile squad is nearby. Okay. We'll have Pellerin go in first. Is it not going to let us attack yet? He probably needs to... Actually, oh, okay, they're already engaged. Okay, and where's Knut at? Knut, protect archers, stay in the back. Head over. What's going on here? They seem to be just standing around here, why? Oh no. That doesn't seem good. Um, it seems like they're bugged out. Vitamil needs to get in here as well then. Okay, hopefully they can just kinda soak up some of the damage. Okay, they finally got into the fight. Vitamil's running in. Enemy commander already surrendered. Okay, that worked out pretty good. Reinforcements finished assisting. Okay. Disband. Canute, though. Um, can we send some people out without fully disbanding? I don't think there's a way to do that. So we'll disband. And create a new army. Of only about... 10. Maybe take out some of these injured. Send Pellerin to go as well. And one bow. We'll take out this bandit camp real quick. Everybody else, you can go and rest. Desire to eat meat. Why are you not eating meat? We'll probably build a little bit of light armor as well. We're probably gonna need- well, we don't need to do it until we just need to make a total of ten. Uh, just to have some extra. Oh, we're out of iron. Oh no. Well. Awaiting a response. I'm compelled to acquiesce. Oh, okay. They're part of our kingdom now too. Great Mist, uh, has fallen. And joined us. Joined the greatest kingdom in the world by far. Uh, Stardale. Demand vassalage from them next. So I'm not entirely sure. It seems, uh, it seems we we're having a lot of issues with keeping vassals together before, but it's, it's been a pretty stable kingdom recently. We've had Sparkfall trying to leave a couple of times. May I actually try to improve relations there at some point 
for the moment we'll just take out these bandits. And that hostile squad is nearby, it says. I'm not actually sure if that hostile squad is because of these bandits that we're actually in the middle of a fight with. I know there was supposed to be that one bandit camp popping up that supposedly has like 25 to 35 um, bandits in it. I don't see it though. I should have kept that tooltip active and I could have taken a look myself. Oh, is this them? No, no, no. Dreloris. I recognize that person's name. Okay, you're from Frostkeep. Okay, got it. Is there really... No, it doesn't seem like there's anybody around. Alright. Looks like bandits are threatening to attack Lakehold. We could send a small contingent army over there. Haviland, take maybe like seven of our weakest people. They don't need good armor. Oh, we can actually give them an axe. I want to send purely warriors, I think. Send them. And then at the same time, once Canute gets back, maybe... Well, actually, we don't need to send him probably be a bad idea to do that. We could send an offering, or we could send an envoy. Oh, we can't. That's right. We could send an offering, though. It'd be 200 gold. That should improve our relation there a little bit. Our messenger arrived at Stardale. We also need managers. Why is that? Well, this... okay. I guess when she became a lord of ours... Why is it saying that clerks are not assigned and that there's no paper? We definitely have paper. Does it need to be brought? Maybe that's why. Okay, maybe we need to have another... an interior workshop... or a... Uh, storehouse then. Um... I'm not really sure where a good place for it is. Maybe up here? It's still pretty far from the Chancellery, though. I guess maybe here? It'd be, like, right next door, almost, to the warehouse. Right into the Chancellery at that point. Something like that. And then... Hopefully that will get them the paper that they want. They It just says that they have zero paper. I don't really know why, and they... Okay, seems like that's okay now. Time for her to marry, but who could she marry? Canute? Well, no. She can't do that. Okay, so they've become our vassal as well, so now we have Stardale in our kingdom. Frostkeep left the kingdom, though. Well, that's bold. We'll go back to Conqueror again. Conflict between neighbors. Do we want to support Mist Haven here? I think we do. Uh, from Lakehold. Godric is organizing terror. Oh boy. Well, why are you doing that? It's not very cool. We're maybe just gonna stay out of it. We'll go into this battle. Snezha. 
We'll uh, just kind of see what you decide to do. Yep. It's kind of expected. Just let him kind of rush in and just shoot him from afar. Okay. So, I think this is where we're going to leave off for this episode. What the heck is up with this border? That's that's hilarious. Um well, anyways. So, what we're seeing now is a kingdom that is absolutely taking over the world. We have what? 1 2 3 4 technically 5 um 6 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 more places that we could take over. And it does seem that as we're getting bigger that perhaps we are having to handle um, some kind of diplomacy a little more often. Which is totally fine. Uh, so I don't know if we're necessarily snowballing. There may be some further difficulties. So I do think that there will be at least one more episode. Maybe we'll just spend that episode kind of dealing with our vassals, maybe finally bringing Mist Haven in, and then at that point we're going to have a pretty nice kingdom. Um, maybe we'll try to settle this city as well, but I think that next time will pretty much be us wrapping up this series. But either way, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.